are you doing here? Oh, that's right. I decided to start a YouTube channel. Ugh, well, hello there. My name is Alexis Cartier, and we're gonna do a double stack. I love hair. I have been really trying to up my hairstyling game, and recently, a bitch did her first double stack, and it didn't turn out too bad. So, we're gonna do another! I'm not recording with my microphone. Microphone acquired. First, what we're gonna do is we are going to give this wig a little tiny haircut. We're not gonna take a whole lot of length off. Long wigs don't like to smooth out. It just is what it is. The longer the hair, the harder the time you're gonna have. Do what I say, or I will have you murdered. So yeah, I'm just giving a little haircut to this. While I'm cutting this wig, I guess I can tell you what the hell possessed me to make this YouTube channel. I'm bored, and I also need accountability. I was recently diagnosed with ADHD. It kind of explains why a lot of my life like, kind of likes to fall apart and shit. I am trying to do things that will just kind of make me more accountable. Having people expect me to upload, having something to do that's like structured, like YouTube, is gonna be really good for me. I'm a professional. We're not cutting this like super duper short. We're gonna keep like most of the length on it. I don't want it so long. Besides, this is gonna be our bump. Wig lesson. You're always going to have a base and a bump in a double stack. This is gonna be the bump. You're always gonna wanna tease your bump first because your base one is the one that's gonna have to be pinned down in the end and you don't wanna tease your base. Then take it off, put on your bump, tease it, take it off and then put the base back on. It's just less changing wigs, it's easier. This should be on the right. I'm right handed. Hold on, I need to make sure this is in frame. Okay, thank the Lord, we're in frame. Now I can do things and talk to you guys and look and you can see me. I'm so professional. down on the floor. I have swept my floor prior to this. This is going to be a secret tool that we use later. It's a fun little cheat. All right, so we are going to move on to teasing now that the haircut is done. I'm going to start from the front. It doesn't really matter if you start from front or back. Some wigs I start from the back, some wigs I start from the front. It's just how I feel that day. I am just taking sections about yay big, brushing through and making sure that they are completely released from themselves. And I am going in I have not used this brush yet. This is a boar's hair brush. Look like how much height we got there. That's a nice, good, like fluffy tease. I'm just gonna continue to do this. I'm gonna tease this entire thing and I'll speed it up for you because you don't wanna watch that. Okay, I added a table and I reset because I still don't know what my filming setup is, guys. This is my first day, okay? Be nice to me. Because this is some lighter teasing, uh, it's like really light and fluffy. You can see because of the texture of that boar's hair brush, every once in a while I'm gonna hit it with some hairspray and use the pick at the end of this comb here and just kind of pack it all together. And I'm just gonna go through and pick it down. Look at how much height and structure we already have on this. Here's kind of where I think I want to go with this wig. I think I want to do like ocean waves. Would that not be so gorgeous? Oh, this is gonna be so cool. If you want to know how I learned to style wigs, I literally have watched every single one of James Mansfield's videos. Every single one of them. She taught me how to style wigs. It's not like she needs a shout out from me. Nobody's watching. And if you are, hi, welcome. Please subscribe, that would really help. James Mansfield taught me literally everything I know about doing hair. Thanks, James. You're helping bitches out all around the world. You have no idea what an amazing person you are. You've taught several queens how to do hair, including myself. And for that, we thank you, because we don't want to be basic ass shake and go bitches no more.
Beautiful. So, here you have it. This is the bump teased out and it's already looking super duper huge so I'm really excited to see what this full hair is going to look like. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the bump off and set it aside and I'm going to tease out the base wig off camera because I still want to deal with it. Ta-da! Okay, so here we have the base wig all teased out. Now what we're going to do is we are going to connect the two. Right here is where we're going to attach the front of our other wig. We are going to do it with zip ties. That's what James Mansfield taught me to do, don't ask. They didn't have this type of wig in a hard front. They only had lace fronts. So I'm stacking a lace front on a lace front. This is going to be stupid. Um, and it may not work super duper well, but what I've done is I've come in and I have placed the zip tie going through the lace here, um, just behind the hairline, because when it gets tied, this is all gonna get tucked up under and zipped like that onto the cap of this wig, and it should, should go well. Okay, so now that we have this zip tied on the front, remember how I said all that hair on the floor we were gonna use later? I put it in a plastic bag and what you are going to do is the following. I know this looks like a mess. We're getting there. This is our second wig. What you're gonna wanna do is take your plastic bag Stuff it up in there and that's gonna add height to your head. You can thank me later. And I honestly think I'm just gonna try to get away with two zip ties in the back because I don't really wanna do that much work. It is a double stack, y'all. Now, you gotta go through, hairspray one more time and really make sure that these two wigs are living in perfect harmony. Now with as frizzy as the bottom is getting, I am a little worried about how it's going to smooth out, but you know, it's not time to panic right now. It's time for false hope. You can really hear that plastic sack just crinkling around in there. That's what you want from, from a good wig. You, you want it to make sounds that are mysterious to passerby. I am not messing around with this hair. It's got to be Huge. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my boar's hairbrush and I'm just gonna start smoothing. Hit it with just a little spray at a good distance. We're gonna knock the hairspray over, really important. So you can see really good there, um, kind of the way that we're, that we're wanting things to come together. Now this is turning out so beautiful. I'm super duper excited. Um, so I'm gonna keep going and we'll see where the style out takes us. I got the front of the bump pretty much uh, smoothed out and it's looking very good now. So now I'm going to work with this little bang piece. I wanna get the front of the wig completely perfect and then literally at the end we flip it around and mess with the back a little bit and it all falls into place. 
Oh, does that not look right? I just have to go like check and look at it really quick in the camera. I mean, honestly, who's the best drag queen ever? Me. Thank you. Okay, that's what it's looking like right now. So I am just gonna finish little tiny touch-ups that I wanna finish on the front. I'll make it really super duper perfect. And then we will do the back. Sorry, don't like me, just thought somebody was stealing my car. Da, 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 da. Okay, so the front is looking absolutely beautiful. Now we are going to work on the back. First, I am just going to hit the back of this really quick. Okay, so periodically I'm just gonna kind of spray it down with hairspray and run this kind of coarse brush through it. This is just like a normal hairbrush. And I'm gonna kind of scrunch it up like that. Kind of like just shape it with your hands into what it wants to be. The wig will tell you. The wig knows what it wants to be. Don't try to prove it wrong or you will not enjoy this process. Work with your wig. It will be what it wants. Long hair is a lot harder to smooth out, so be ready. This is not going to be the most enjoyable smooth out of your life. And the wig's gonna deflate a lot, but that's fine. Don't worry about it at all. With a really wavy style like this, I welcome you to use your fingers as much as possible to try to like separate out the hair because it's gonna have gotten a little frizzy from the teasing and you kind of need to like group it together with the hair that looks the same again so that it can, you know, get that really pretty wave pattern or it's just gonna look bad. Now I'm just going through with my pick and adding any volume that I took out back in and then kind of smoothing just one more time with my fingers, hitting it with some spray. Yeah, and now just make it big with the pick, scrunch it up with your fingers, make sure it looks smooth and pretty.
All right, everybody, there is the finished wig. So I am going to uh, go ahead and get in drag, and then I will film you a full reveal on my head. Woo! All right, this is what the hair looks like on. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you are interested in learning how I did this beautiful face, please go ahead and watch the next video that's going to be uploaded on this channel, which is the makeup tutorial that I just filmed. Is this not just, oh. All right, I gotta stop feeling myself. Anyway, love you guys, bye.